the gods of Egypt. Do not see this movie unless you are ready to be thoroughly brainwashed and conditioned by the Hollywood machine that is at it again with subtly, covertly, and overtly conditioning our minds and seeking to program us into believing that all the gods of Egypt are white. Save one thought. Now, before you get your panties in a bunch, let's talk, shall we? This is Reverend Valerie Love at your service. Let me state that I am not a racist. For me, this is not a black white issue. It also is not an issue about black supremacy or anything like that. I'm not a black supremacist. I am a person who honors all people of all walks of life on this planet. And as I watched that movie, Gods of Egypt, it became very clear to me, scales fell from my eyes. It became very clear to me why it is that we are having this conversation at this time on Sunday night, February 28th, 2016, as the Oscars are on right now with many black people not watching and not attending. Why? Because Hollywood is up to the very same tricks and old way of being that it was up to when I was a little girl and they took me to a movie theater in Harlem, New York City. And I watched the movie, The Bible, where Charlton Heston played Moses and another white lady, I believe it was Elizabeth Taylor played the Queen of Sheba or someone like that. Now, I am not saying anything against white people. This is not about white people bashing. This is not about, like I said, black supremacists. This is about Hollywood continuing to feed out into the mass consciousness that white people can confiscate pretty much anything they want, any culture, and put a white face on it. And we're supposed to believe that that's how it is, except for the fact that many of us understand and know how it is. We know what the gods of Egypt look like. We may have a personal relationship with the gods of Egypt, and they certainly don't look like what they look like in the movie. Nephthys, completely white. She was the whitest person I think I've ever seen. And once again, this is not about bashing white people. This is about a Hollywood concoction and a conditioning of consciousness with memes and subtle programming about whites, what they do. And at the top of the whole thing, a white man runs the whole thing. Like when you went all the way to the top of the gods of Egypt, God, the Ra, the sun god Ra was uh, an old white man. Now, what kind of conditioning is that putting into people's minds? I understand Jada Pinkett Smith and why she said something has got to change. Because I'm convinced at this point that if Hollywood made a movie about building the Great Wall of China, they would cast it with all white people. I'm convinced of that now. Because they have shown us that they will confiscate any culture and put a white face on it. And this is not white people in general. This is the people who are calling all the shots in Hollywood and who are conditioning the minds of the masses. If you believe that a God of Egypt is white, I would say do some research. You mean to tell me, Hollywood, there were no Egyptian people that you could cast in this movie? There were no people of color that you could cast in this movie? They're all white. It's a slap in the face to people of all colors all over the world. My next part of the movie, this is where the scales fell from my eyes. So we're watching the movie and I'm, I'm picking up. Okay, these are the gods of Egypt. I haven't seen a black one yet. Even when I saw the trailer, I asked myself, when did all the gods of Egypt turn white? They all lost their melanin. When did that happen? I didn't get the memo. But anyhow, I digress. What happened is, that we have all the white gods, they're really tall and they're really big, yes, and imposing and very godlike and statuesque. They're all white, except for one, like I said, Thoth, who is portrayed as somewhat of an ego maniacal, smart alecky, quippy, snarky person. That's the great god Thoth. Anyway, he's he's the only black one. Anyway, 
So all these gods, they're big and tall. And then they pan the scene. Now, now there is a god about to be crowned the new king of Egypt. And then they pan the scene. And what do you see next? The drummers, all black. <laughs> I was like, you know Hollywood. Y'all need to really cut this out. Y'all need to stop it. Like the gig is up, Hollywood. The gig is up. They show all the black people. The black people are banging the drums. Yay, all hail the king. The people who are running stuff, all white, except for one black one. Like I said, he was a little strange. And then you had the masses of people. You had the servants banging the drums. All They, they were all black. You had the caller. He was calling out. He was black. I didn't see, I don't think I saw any Egyptian people, any people that really looked convincingly like they were actually from Egypt. I'm going to wrap up with this. Hollywood, shame on you. You made a movie about the gods of Egypt. And oh yes, it's entertainment with complete and utter disregard for any people who are actually Egyptian or of any hue other than why. And what concerns me the most is I don't even think you see anything wrong with what, what you're doing. That is the worst part about it. That is exactly what Jada Pinkett Smith is talking about. That's exactly what many of the, the artists that are not attending the Oscars are talking about. Because Hollywood doesn't even see what it's doing or what message it's conveying. And if they do, perhaps it's a plot and they don't care about it because that's what their message is. And at the top of the whole thing is an old white man. That smacks of what they used to teach us in church. That God was this old white man sitting way, 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 way up. I hope I'm, I'm, I'm offending someone now. I hope I am. Because when I make you uncomfortable, it makes you think. It makes you do something different. It makes you change the world. There's an old white man sitting way up there on a throne with a long white beard with a book in his hair judging everybody. Then we go to church. What do you see? A blonde Jesus, long blonde hair, blue eyes, looking sad like this. When everything we know about Jesus certainly was not blonde, he was a person of color. We saw Charlton Heston in the Bible where he played Moses, a white man playing a Hebrew man. Hebrew people are Hebrew. They're not white. What Middle Eastern people are Middle Eastern. Asian people are Asian. Aboriginal people are Aboriginal. Black people are black. There are all these beautiful hues and colors of people all over the world, yet Hollywood wants to continue, continue to condition our minds into white is right. I'm not going for it. Don't you either. Hollywood, shame on you. And this is what I pray, that the wrath of the gods come down on you and that you fall by your own hand. Peace. I'm out. Reverend Valerie Love.